Yoshi Fujiwara Sakai Nike LDV waffles. Now I've got a pair of the LDV waffles. I don't have them here to show, but I've got the Sakai ones that were what purple and whatever that colorway. I don't wear them much because unfortunately I have the feet of uh, I don't know. I have weird feet. I've obviously everyone's got feet where you know one one foot is bigger than the other, but I've also got the issue where my foot from front to back is pro it could it could be right it could be a size 10 uk 10 eu 44 45 us 11 but once but because the front of my foot is a bit wider it then depends on the shape of the trainer so if it's an air max i need to go maybe a half a size up so I maybe get a 10.5 uk 11 and a half us and if i then wear an air force one i get i can sometimes depending on if it's a depending on when it was made if it's like an early 2000s um air force or if it's like a 98 below i can probably get away with the uk nine and a half but usually i can get away with a um usually my main size is us 11 in that one so it's a really strange my feet seem to like you know fluctuate so when i wear my sakai ldv waffles in purple they're uk 10 my toes seem to sometimes scrunch up or i sometimes get you know my, my pinky toe rubs up a little bit but I know if I would have got a size 11, they'd be too big. And sometimes it's hard to get, you know, rarely, not rarely, but it, it, they don't always make half sizes in collaboration. So it can be a bit annoying that way. But, you know, what can you do? And usually if it's a UK 10, I can get away with it by just taking out the insole. But, you know, with the LVD waffles, if you've got a pair, you know that the insoles, you know, it's non-existent, basically. It's not really an insole, it's a bit of foam. So taking it out doesn't really make that much difference. But, hey, what can you do? But it was announced the other day news leaked again this is from another one from just fresh kicks it says the first look at a fragment in nike at sakai odv waffle um we've got the news here we've got fragment nike and sakai all will be teaming up for the formation of a strong group of three of the new ldv waffles and nike and black tones it's cool to see because obviously that sakai lady has been part of nike for a while she's been you know she got she's got a lot of support and a lot of um backing from people within nike who are really big fans of her work of course you know hiroshi fujiwara is synonymous with all the great you know nike collaboration we know from back in the day htm all the stuff that he's done himself under the fragment moniker under his own name as well actually she's ain't done his own name with who with the htm most of it's come through fragment but we know we know what you know what his cv is so to bring all these three um entities together on the model that has done you know i think of all the um, i can f i think there might be apart from maybe i can't think of another collab that i've seen one book here as well that i'm a big fan of that i read from time to time a collection of some of these biggest hits but yeah um i've always been a big fan of hiroshi i love everything that he does so i think this collaboration is a really 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 good effort from all involved I quickly move here make sure everything is working so let me quickly read this for you um it says if the kind of nike ldv waffle was never enough for you the dew um, has added uh, sorry the dew has added the help of fragments of expertise on new silhouette while the sakai hype has only gone up over time with great colorways and limited stock the dew really didn't need help the, okay this is not a skip of the text we don't know what we're looking at so we've got a uh, tonal navy tonal base on the upper of an ldv waffle sakai you know what that looks like and then we've got the application of the signature fragments um two thunderbolts at the top well, sort of like, you know, where the mud guard, I guess, would be at the front of the shoe. Um, mostly it's made up of navy, um, suede, it looks like. Or maybe it's combination of suede and nubuck with that sort of nylon um, middle midsection there. Two swooshes in both in white as well. No change in materials there. And that's about it, really, isn't it? The tongue colors are different on each what uh, on the tongue or the top has got the classic sort of nike sportswear tongue colorway black and orange and at the bottom has got a tonal so that's it really really kind of classic you would call it basic but i call it minimal sort of a, approach to the design and it's again something i'd easily wear like you could see these getting worn a lot if they if they brought this color out colorway out as a gr it would sell like hot cakes you know what i mean so let's not get it and get it twisted of course it probably could have been you know added a spruce up a bit but i love it oh i didn't see that as well i love the back hill tab the fact that it's silver i'm not sure if that's is that the actual model so we've got two colorways here we've got a colorway that has the hill tab that's white and then we've got a colorway here below that's got the hill tab that's silver 
maybe that's a knowing them knowing nike and fragment maybe this is the friends and family version with the silver heel tab with the red um, nike logo that reminds me of some old runners from back in the day like that one that they used for sprinting that was sort of like foil print i forgot what that was called but i like the look of this man this is bl flipping beautiful yeah nike ldv waffle sakai and fragment linking up that that might mean we might see a capsule select maybe yeah I, i'd assume that would might mean we'll see some sort of capsule collection within the sakai what spring summer 20 is it here spring summer 21 collection when paris fashion week um begins in september right maybe that might be it because Sakai always sort of like showcased the Nike collaborations during the runway shows, isn't it? So it wouldn't surprise me if they end up doing something like that. That could be a thing, who knows? Um, but keep an eye out for them when they do release anyway. And I'll sure will be trying my best to get a pair myself. And I'm sure, as with most of these things, I'll probably be catching loads of L's. But you know, there's no, it's fun to try, you know, it's fun to it's fun to dream sometimes. <laughs> oh, god almighty, what's what's happening to my 